So hello everybody and good Monday. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can dynamically remove columns that contain a specific word in the column name. Are you ready? Let's get started. Okay, so this trick is actually very useful when you're importing data, for example, from PDF, so from Excel, where you more often than not get just columns that are empty. And you would probably would like to remove them dynamically, so if it gets Sometimes it goes one or two, you can remove them all. So this is how we're going to do it. We have here a table that has column one that is empty, customer, column two, supplier. So what we want is just to remove column one, column two, or any other columns that might come dynamically. This is how we're going to do it. First of all, we're going to grab, create a list of all the column names. So you have table column names and you put the source and as you can see it actually creates a list that has cust column one customer column two supplier now the next thing we're going to do is to find the column names that have the word column on them and because this is a list we need to use a list function so this is what we're going to use we're going to have use a list and there is a function called find the text we're going to get custom one, which is the previous step that had a list with all the column names. And then we're going to say find all the columns, or in this case in the list, find all the rows that have the word column in it. And then here we have it, we have column one and column two. And the next thing is just go to the source and remove all columns that contain this list. So we're going to go in here and we're going to do a table remove columns from the source that contain custom2. So I didn't need to delete it, custom2. And as you can see, it removes column one and column two. So if we now go up to the source, and I hard coded it so I can actually manipulate it for you guys. So I put here column three, and it's just empty. Even if it's not empty, it will delete it anyway. So we go here to custom three, and as you can see, it removes it takes it away. Very, very useful. 